All right, now we want to look at the power reducing formulas. So the power reducing formulas are exactly what they sound like. All right, we've got a power of 2 here, and now we have a trig function. All right, it doesn't necessarily keep the old function, but we have a trigonometric function now that's not being raised to that power. The power has been reduced. So it was squared, now it's the first power. Squared, first power, squared, first power. And then once again, notice tangent is the sine's numerator divided by the cosine's numerator. Okay, when you divide, these things will flip, and we will, um, well, they'll flip and the twos will cancel. So, if I want an expression for cosine to the fourth that does not contain powers of trigonometric functions greater than one, well, notice what's going to happen here. The sine, I'm sorry, the cosine to the fourth, notice cosine to the fourth x is the cosine squared of x squared. All right, and if you look, what's inside the parentheses here, uh, the, the cosine squared theta, that's just the same thing as this. It's just, it's being, um, it's re replacing theta with an x. But this is all of this stuff squared. So it's 1 plus cosine 2 theta all over 2 squared. Notice this and this are equivalent according to this. Okay, So we're just replacing this in the parentheses. The squared's still out there. All right, now what I'm going to do in this step, I'm going to pull out this 1 half. There's this common 1 half in here. And then if I pull that out, I'll have um, just the numerator. So 1 plus cosine of 2 theta. All right, but all that's being squared. So I'll rewrite that 1 half squared as 1 fourth. And then I've got this 1 plus cosine of 2 theta. That's being squared, okay? So what I'm going to do is foil that out or square it. All right, I'm going to get a 1. If I multiply this times itself, I'm going to get 1 times 1 is 1. And then outside, I'll have a 1 times cosine 2 theta. Inside, I'll have a 1 times cosine 2 theta. So that'll be 2 cosine 2 theta. And then plus, I'll have cosine squared 2 theta, because I'm squaring it. It's multiplied by itself. So cosine squared 2 theta. All right, now I have reduced the power. Okay, I went down from a fourth power to now there's a square. But it says no power is greater than 1. That's still greater than 1. So what am I going to do? I'm going to replace this cosine squared 2 theta. All right, notice that if that was a 2 theta, then this right here would be a 2 theta. That would be a 4 theta. So this, all of this stuff right here, I'm using this again. All right, but instead of, you know, it was already 2 theta, so this is 2 times 2 theta, which would be 4 theta. So I end up with 1 plus cosine of 4 theta over 2. Okay, and now I can just simplify it a little bit more. Either you can uh, factor this 1 half out again. If I pull it out again, I'll have a 1 eighth. All right, and if I factor out a half, it's basically I have to multiply all this stuff by 2. So that would be 2 plus 4 cosine 2 theta plus, if I pull out this this one half, I'll have a one plus cosine four theta here. All right, and then simplifying one more time, I've got the one eighth. Two plus one is three, plus four cosine two theta plus cosine four theta. All right, and then there's nothing. If you want to distribute that one eighth through, that'd be fine. You'd have a three eighth, a one half, and a one eighth cosine four theta. All right, but now we don't have any powers higher than 1 on the cosines. Now a way you can check this, I've got them in Desmos. Notice this is y equals, this is how you write cosine x to the fourth, cosine fourth x. Same thing. And then this is what we got for our answer. 1 eighth, 3 plus 4 cosine 2x plus 4 cosine theta. Notice I switched to theta. Sorry, that they should all be x's. I apologize. I just started plugging into the formula and not paying attention to what I was writing. 
but x was the variable, so that should be x, x, x. Everywhere there's a theta should be an x. But anyway, um, notice that when I turn this graph on, all the points that are on one of these graphs is the same as the points on the other graph. Let me move that back up to the top. All right, so they are equivalent. Okay, they're the, they're the same thing. I see the same graph. If I zoom out. It's the same graph forever and ever and ever. So that's that's one way you can check it with Desmos, that they are the same. All right. You could also type that in um, to something like Wolfram Alpha. So once again, there's what I finish up with my last step. If you scroll down, they'll do alternative forms, and there's cosine fourth x. Okay. So that is equivalent, and Wolfram Alpha can check your answer. Desmos graphing it and, and showing that the graphs overlap everywhere can check your answer as well. So those are the power reducing formulas. Again, when you see a question like this, you, you start off with a uh, an even power and you want to take that thing down to powers less than whatever you started with, then this is the, the way to go. This is the thing that's going to get you there. Notice they're all in terms of cosines.